Hey guys, okay. So we're gonna be doing our diamonds. So what you need, this is gonna be part one. So you're gonna need a pencil, straight edge, and then something to make a circle. Take, you want your circle pretty big? You want it taking up the whole piece of paper? Mine's zoomed in a little bit, so I'm using something smaller so you can really see it. All my details. And go around. Beautiful. Okay, so we have your circle. We have our circle. Now we're gonna put either a square or rectangle, depending on how yours will come out on the inside. So I'm doing about a finger width from that curve of my circle. So let's go right there. And then same thing, finger width on the bottom. So we have our two lines making making the sides of our rectangle or square. So there's mine. Now we're going to add the other two lines on the other sides. So that's done over here on this side. So if I do it one finger length, I'm connecting that point to that point, making an exactly perfect um, rectangle or square. Um, but I don't want that. I actually want it to overlap, so I'm going to make this side a little bit bigger, like so. Like that, because I want those X's. See how those X's are right there? Those, that's what I'm aiming for. So I did a finger and a half. I'm gonna do that on this side as well. Make it as straight as possible and then go down. Okay, so we had a circle. Now we have a circle and a rectangle. Okay, now every time a line touches the edge, we're gonna put a little dot. So that dot, and then we're gonna number it. One. Sound good? So every time something touches the outside edge of our circle, it's gonna get a number. So one, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so we have our marks right there. <clears throat> okay, so we should have eight marks, four lines. We have our circle, our rectangle on the inside, and now we're gonna put a giant X on the inside. So we're gonna do that by connecting one to four. So take your ruler, go one, go the four, draw a diagonal line to connect them just like that. Now, since we want it big and bold, we're gonna do the same thing, eight to five. Start at eight, go to five, down, bold line. So now we have one side of our X. Two to seven, other side. Two to seven, beautiful. And now three to six. Three to six. Looks just like that. So we have our circle. We have our rectangle or square, however yours came out. And then we have a giant bold X going across it. Now this point right here, right in the middle of that X is actually the very tip of the diamond. So this is gonna be the top view. So top view, that goes all the way down to the point right there. So, next thing we're gonna do is gonna get a little complicated. So that's why we numbered it, to keep it a little easier. We're gonna start with number one. So one, we're gonna make a straight line to number two. One to two. Okay, so if one goes to two, now one is gonna go to three. So one to three. And we're gonna do this for every number to every outside point. So one to two, good. One to three, good. One to four, already made, perfect. One to five. 
And we're just going to keep doing that until we're finished with the ones. So one to five. One to six, already done. One to seven. So line up the one, line up to seven. Add your line. One to seven, and then we're gonna go one to eight as well. All right, so one went to all of the points. So I'm gonna put a little check mark on top so I know I'm done with it. Now we're gonna move to the next one. Let's go to number two. Two. Two to one, already did. Two to eight. So let's line up, point right there, point right there, like so. Two to seven, good. Two to six, right here and right here. Line it up, connect. Two to five, already aligned. Two to four. Perfect, and then two to three, line right there. Okay, two is done. Now three, three to one, looks good. Three to eight looks good. We need to go three to seven. So we're going each number to every single point. Three to seven already goes to three to six. Three to five. And it doesn't hurt to check. And then three to four. So to check, you just line it up, your point to where it needs to go, and see if there is a line going there already. All right? Does not hurt to check. So four, four to three, looks good. Four to two, looks good. Four to one, yep. We need four to eight. And the nice thing about diamonds is all diamonds look different, but they're all beautiful. So it's okay if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. That's totally okay. Four to seven, we need four to six. Totally okay if it's a little bit different. Okay, and then four to five, like so. Then move to five. Five looks good. It looks like five just needs to go to these two. So five to seven. And then five to six. Okay, six goes to all of them, except for number eight and number seven. So there we go. And then connects right here. Now seven just needs to go to eight. Check those off. And then eight should be completed, but if you want, you can go and check them. So this is part one. So this is what we're gonna do first. So take your ruler and your pencil, and we're gonna divide this in half. So you're gonna find where the most of the lines cross over. So mine's gonna be about right there. See how they're all crossing? And they're kind of going to one kind of blob. That's probably my middle point. So I'm gonna go my ruler right over that middle point spot. And then long line all the way across, breaking it into two. So we got a half, right? Then we're going to break it in half again, going horizontal, creating a cross. So find that midpoint again. Make sure your ruler is level and right across, breaking it in half. And now we should have four equal parts. All right. We're going to label each time it touches the outside circle every time a line touches so we have four touch marks we're going to label it instead of doing one through eight we are now going to label them a through d so very top is going to be a right side is b bottom is c and left side is d 
Okay. Now we're going to go D to A. So we're going to connect all the letters together and it's going to create a diamond shape or a rotated square. So go D to A. Line them up. Connect them like so. Other side. A to B. Line them up. See. Just like that. Oop, moved it a little. There we go. Line them up like so. B to C. B to C. And C to D. C to D. Okay, so see that diamond rotated square shape? And we just connected all of our letters. Now we're going to start with A. We're going to go A to 6. So point A to point 6. Line it up. Draw the line. And then A to 4. So point A to point 4. Just like that. Now we're going to do it for C. So C is going to go to 1. C to 1. Point C to point 1. And then C to 3. C to 3. Right there. Go to C. Make sure it's lined up. Draw your line. Perfect. Just like that. Last part. So we're going to take our letter and it's going to connect to the closest number. Okay, so we're going to start with D because you can really see the open spaces right here. So that's where I'm going to start. So D is going to connect with 8. D, 8. Connect with the line. Like that. D to 7 now. D, 7. Connect with the line. Just like that. Okay, moving on. A to 1. A1. A to 2. A2. B to 3. B to 3, B to 4, B to 4, C to 6, C 6, and then C to 5, C to 5. So recap, D went to 8. D went to 7, A went to 1, A went to 2, B went to 3, B went to 4, C went to 6, and C went to 5. And that is completed part 2 of your diamond. Alright, last part, part 3 and 4. Let's get going. So what you're going to need is something to trace it with. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to trace this outer edge. Okay, we're not going to do the curve part. We're going to do the straight part. Sounds good. So D to 8. Find that straight line and connect it just like that. So we're going to go all the way around 8 to 1. 1 to A, 
A to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to B, B to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to C, 6 to C, 7 to 6, and then D to 7. Looks like that. Now the reason why we're not doing the very outside edge is because we kind of want it to make it look like it's curving over. And so we want the focus to be on this rough kind of diamond shape. All right, so that's part one of it. Next part is we're gonna outline some of the lines on the inside. And I know it's gonna get overwhelming because there's a lot of lines. Okay. So first, we're gonna to do the lines that connect, the numbers that connect to each other. So seven and eight. We're gonna find the straight line that connects them. Seven to eight, find the straight line. And then we're gonna find the letter and it's gonna make a triangle. So the letter D makes a triangle on that straight line. And we're just going to outline that straight line underneath the triangle, right there. Same thing for B. Find the straight line going from three to four. See that straight line? B has the triangle, and then underline right underneath the triangle, like so. Now A is gonna have two triangles. We're gonna look for the widest triangle, the very outside. So there's the wide triangle, the straight line from A to, or from one to two, and outline just that bottom part. Head to the bottom to C. Find the straight line, six to five. There it is. The triangle for C, that wide triangle, and then underline right there. Okay. Next step is we're gonna connect all of our underlining. And the way we can do that is these points should connect onto one line and that line should be the line that connects the letters together. So D to C, find that straight line and it should connect right to each other. All right, D to A, find the straight line. Start at the underline point and go up to the next underline point. Again, A to B, find the straight line, follow it until you connect. Lastly, B to C, follow that straight line to connect, just like that. So we have this outside shape, and then we have this inside shape. Wherever it starts to point, like this spot, how it has a point right there, you're gonna draw a line connecting the outside to the inside, just like that. Okay, here's a point, connect, point, connect, all the way around the circle. So every time there's a point, connect it to the outside. Outside point, outside point, outside point. Just like that. <clears throat> And then we are done with the outlining. Now, if you made yours really dark like I did, it's okay. We're just going to go and we're just going to erase it to make it a little bit lighter. You don't want to erase it completely. You want to be able to see your line still. Otherwise, we did all that hard work for nothing. So you want to be able to see your lines. We just don't want the lines to steal the show. We want all the colors that we're about to put in there to be the spotlight of the diamond. Okay, because that's really what we're looking for is all those different colors for our diamond. So we're erasing just to lighten everything up. Like so. Just like that. So it's lightened, it's outlined, and now it's ready to be colored. All right, 
So I posted some color options on Canvas that you guys should follow and I've told you what colors to use. So I'm gonna do a blue diamond. So I've already picked out my colors. I'll go over the blue diamond. We're doing dark blue, medium blue, light blue. We're also gonna do black and light purple and maybe a little bit of white in there as well. So I'm gonna start with my blue. My blue's right here. And this is kind of how we're going to color it. So we're gonna find a spot. We're going to color that shape in. So I'm gonna start with a medium blue, coloring that shape. So something to keep in mind is I don't want to put, if I put a medium blue right here, I'm not going to put a medium blue here, 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 here. Okay, because if I do that, it blends in and it ruins that kind of effect that we're trying to make. So I'm going to do a light blue right here, but I'm going to show you real quick what happens. I'm going to do a dark blue here, right next to it. And you do that by just pushing down really hard on your pencil. So dark blue, and then you make it a little bit less pressure, makes that medium, and then lots of less pressure, makes that light color. So there's our three different colors I have. So if I make a light blue here, right next to what I already have, see how it makes just one giant shape? We don't want that. So I'm gonna go in and make it a little darker. So we want them to be all different shapes and so we don't want the same color next to each other. Sound good? So I'm gonna go and quickly do this. You just kinda of want them everywhere. So just make sure you're not putting the same color next to each other. And then I'm gonna just color, color, color and you'll see what it looks like at the end. 